It, it, it will, but it's, it's going to be raining for a minute, especially today as we see that rain continue well into the afternoon hours. Take a look at our live tower cam in Temple. It's a little hard to see the tops of some of the buildings out there because the cloud deck is so low because it is quite humid out there. Of course, anytime it's raining, if I show you your humidity graphic, it's going to say 100% because there's rain falling. See, told you so. 41 out there, and that's exactly what it feels like as wind is not really a factor, and wind will not be a factor for the next several days as it just can't really mix down to the surface, unfortunately, if you want a little bit of wind. As for the rain situation, you can see some of that heaviest rain now moving to the northeast of uh, Waco, kind of moving into Mahaya a little bit right now along that uh, Highway 14 corridor, some of that heavier rain there. As we look down to the south, Georgetown getting hit right now, but that's going to continue to travel up I-35 and some heavy rain now moving through through the Brazos Valley, parts of Grimes County there, possibly one to two inches of rain per hour as that continues to move across. And these things aren't moving terribly quickly. A and B, it's it's what we call training. We get one storm developing behind another, behind another, behind another, kind of like train cars. That's why we use the term training. But you can see, you know, that storm moves through Waco and then just a few minutes later, take a look, that next storm is going to move through there as these continue to move along I-35. This whole sy system is going to kind of uh, shift a little little bit to the east throughout the day. Everything's kind of moving southwest and northeast, but the overall motion will pull it eventually to the east. So it will stop along I-35 first and then continue through parts of the Brazos Valley, the I-44 corridor before moving out into East Texas later on this evening. That's right. I said later on this evening. We got a while to go here, folks. So let's take a look at our forecast. So those temperatures will start to creep up a little bit throughout the day. Upper 40s, possibly cresting the 50 degree mark in a few spots today. It's not going to be terribly warm because we have the rain. And of course, we have the cloud cover that it goes along with it. So we're not going to get a lot of sunshine here. But here we are at 10 a.m. You can see the rain still moves across and then by 2 o'clock starts to move east of I-35. And then it's solely along that I-45 corridor. So that is why I was saying earlier, this is where we're going to see the highest rain totals with the warmest temperatures probably out to the west. But again, not going to be terribly warm today. Talking the 50s for today. We'll be back into the 60s, but that won't be until tomorrow. For today alone, expecting up to three quarters of an inch of rain in our western counties, up to an inch and a half along I-35, and then an inch and a half to two inches for parts of the Brazos Valley and along I-45. That's a lot for one day. So again, if you're in the eastern part of the viewing area, we could run into some issues with some street ponding, and of course, those low-lying areas could be a problem as well. We got that little break I showed you earlier, but then by midnight, we start to see it spread across the area once again towards your morning drive tomorrow. That's when we could see some heavy rain, possibly some embedded thunderstorms, but a better chance for thunderstorms as we head towards tomorrow afternoon. Wouldn't be surprised to see a few gusty winds with some of these storms, possibly some pocket change sized hail as well. But then after that, it continues on into Wednesday as well. So by the time all is said and done, if you're in the eastern part of the viewing area, upwards of seven inches. If you're closer to Houston, could be seven to ten inches. And then west of I-35, anywhere up to about two and a half inches possible with these rounds and rounds and rounds of rain. So let's take a look at your seven day forecast by tomorrow. We're going to bring it down to oh, 90% with your coverage and then back down to about 60% by Wednesday. So today, probably the heaviest rain, the most widespread rain, but we keep it in the forecast through Wednesday. Bring it back by Friday and it will be a little bit cooler heading into your weekend.